So in this video, we'll be going over properties of addition. So there are three properties of addition, identity property, commutative property, and associative property. So in the identity property, adding a zero does not change a number. So r equals zero plus r. So in the case of five as r, five plus zero is still equal to five. That would be an example of an identity property. For commutative property, you can add numbers in any order and get the same result. For example, let's do two plus one. Two plus one is equal to one plus two. They would both give you three. For associative property, you can group the add-ins with parentheses and get the same sum. For example, 1 plus 2 in parentheses plus 3 is equal to 1 plus parentheses 2 plus 3. Let's try some examples. So in this example, we're going to identify which property of addition is shown in the equation. 1 plus 8 is equal to 8 plus 1. So adding a 0 does not change a number, would not be appropriate. You can add numbers in any order and get the same sum. That would be appropriate. So in this case, it would be commutative property. Now, let's look at the second example. 3 plus 0 equals 3. Adding a 0 does not change a number. Therefore, this is identity property. Let's look at example 3. 8 plus 7 in parentheses plus 2. 8 plus parentheses 7 plus 2. So you would get 15 plus 2 is equal to 8 plus 9. But you would get 17 is equal to 17. Grouping these parentheses, the sums in different manners, still gives you the same sum. So this is associative property.